Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Nisharma Sharma and today I'm going to deal with the at least statement in genetics. In my last video, I have discussed about the pedigree analysis and I have also solved one of the questions that time. And now this on that time of even I have left a few questions for you to solve that. Now this time I'm going to solve that question especially that the at least statement and that question was the couple decided to have four children what is the probability that they will have at least two boys now this is my english lecture in my uh, you can if you can also switch to the hindi language if you have any difficulty in english i have given the link of that in my description box so what uh, how to get uh, calculate the at least statement or the uh, how to calculate probability linked with the at least statement so uh, as your question is given that uh, couple decided to have four ch children what is the probability that they will have at least two boys so we know that uh, the probability of having boys and girls is equally or we can say half probability of being girls and half probability is there of being boys so but here the question is little bit different it is asking you at least two boys it is not said that the first child will be boys second child will be girl third child will be again boy and uh, lastly the fourth one will be girl so it, it is not a setting this much it is not uh, we don't know the sequence in which the boy will be give will take birth so what are the probability if it is saying at least so there may be probability that there will be at least two boys and two boys and two girls and another probability is that three boys and one girl or it also be possible that all will be the boys and no girl will be there so uh, how to calculate such equations so what are the probability here we have given have uh, seen that there are three ways uh, the possibility can come so here we will use combination to calculate such questions because if i will take only this statement that when there will be two boys and two girls in how many ways we can write this we can write is read, uh, write it as boy boy girl girl boy girl girl boy uh, boy girl boy girl or again we can write it here uh, here as girl boy boy girl 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 uh, so it uh, there are so, uh, very large uh, number if we, we will uh, starting arranging all this so better to avoid this we will use the combination here uh, for each so uh, how to use this actually uh, first of all i would like to tell you what actually combination formula is combination means if we will say here r and so here n is the total number as per this question here total number is 4 and out of 4 we uh, couple is deciding deciding to have only two boys or the r is here 2 and how to solve such uh, combination then what we do we will do here 4 factorial by 2 my 4 minus 2 factorial and again 2 factorial or we can write it in the formula form as n factorial by n minus r factorial and factorial of the r and to how to calculate the factorial we will calculate factorial as if it, it is written for 4 factorial then we will write it as 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this is how we calculate the combination okay so what will be the result this will be the result for the uh, first condition when there will be two boys and four uh, out of four children okay so now let's see how to solve such question so uh, we will take the first condition when a couple has two boys out of four children on that case n will be 4 and r will be 2 okay so take it combination of this and uh, yes another thing is that the probability of having boy is half and probability of having girl so better uh, if i have written uh, the uh, positive result as half and the negative result is that 
uh, probability of having GERD. So, it is, I am represented it with the Q half. Mm -hmm. So, the formula here it will be that combination and R into probability of having boys raised to the power R because here we are talking about the boys and R or the probability which is the two boys. Okay. And the probability of having girl will be and minus R. Now, calculate for this here and will be 4 and R is equals to 2. It is R. Okay. So, now put the value of uh, values in here. Combination 4, 2, P is what? Half, power 2 and Q is here also half, power N minus R or 4 minus 2 is also 2. So, now calculate it. We will get here uh, combination of 4, uh, combination of 4 out of 2 will be factorial 4 by 4 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial into half square into half square. Now calculate it. We will get 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Here we will get 4 minus 2 is equals to 2. So factorial of 2 will be equals to 2 into 1. And again factorial of 2 will be 2 into 1 into half power 2 half power 2. So, when you will calculate this whole, you will get 3 by 8. So, this was the first condition when uh, the couple was, was having at least 2 boys. So, the couple can also have 3 boys. So, then again we will use here. Uh, the only difference will be that here and was 4 and will be 4 also here uh, when there will be 3 boys. But the R instead of 2 here R will be 3. So, again we will put this whole in this formula and we will get from the first we have get uh, 3 by 8. Okay. So from we have get 3 by 8. So, again now in the second case when uh, uh, when 3 boys will be there and 1 girl will be there on that case and will be 4 and R will be 3. Now, put it here as a 4, 3. Now, we will get here as factorial of 4 by factorial of 4 minus, uh, sorry, n minus r, which is 1 factorial and factorial of r, which is 3 factorial. And we will again then put here p to the power r, which is 3 and q to the power n minus r, which is 1. And we will get it here as 1 by 2 to the power 3 and 1 by 2 to the power 1. Now, when you will calculate this, we will get 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 by 1 into factorial of 3 will give 3 into 2 into 1 into 1 by 2 power 3 into 1 by 2. Okay. So, now when we will calculate this, we will get 1 by 4. So, from the second condition, we will get this equation. And from the first, we have the 3 by 8. Okay. Now, third condition is what? When all the 4 will be boys and 0 will be the girls. On that case, and will be 4 as well as R will be also 4. Now, let's again do the same thing here. We will have C4, 4, 4, P to the power R, R which is 4 and Q to the power R and minus R which is 0. And the power 0 means it will give value of 1. So, when we will put it here or calculate it, we will get factorial of 4 by n minus r which gives 0 factorial and factorial of 0 is 1 and factorial of 4. And uh, half to the power 4 and half to the power 0. So, half to the power 0 will give 1. So, when we will when we will calculate this, we will get only 1 to half to the power 4 and it will give 1 by 16 or it is the third case. So, uh, the statement is that uh, from the statement, at least two test statements, we can say that we have to get our, sorry, our two boys, two girls or three boys, one girls or four boys zero girls it means it is the or statement and what we do in the or statement we 
ago uh, we undergo addition of all the values so first values were 3 by 8 second value is 1 by 4 and third value is 1 by 16 so when we will add all this one 3 by 8 1 by 4 and 1 by 16 we will get 11 by 16 so the probability of having at least two boys out of the four child is 11 by 16 so this is how we calculate the at least statement and this is very easy once you have all this concept so if you uh, try yourself you know, choose some questions and try to solve the questions from the pedigree analysis which i already have discussed and uh, at least statement or any other probability questions related with the genetics it is very important and it, uh, generally comes in section c and if any of uh, you uh, face any problem uh, then take the peak of that questions and you can mail me in my mail id is r a j a n i r s n e dot uh, bharatiya b h a r a t i y a bharatiya at the rate of gmail.com so hope you understood this very well don't forget to subscribe and share my channel and for the hindi language you can switch to the link which i have given in my description till then goodbye and have a nice day